Hello and welcome to today's healthy recipe. Today we're going to be making a vegetable pasta sauce. We are going to be using celery, zucchini, spinach, onion, corn, carrots, and broccoli. However, by the time we're done with this video, it's not going to look like there's any vegetables in it and it's not gonna taste like there's any vegetables in it either. So, Come along for this ride. So first I'm going to cut up my onion. We're going to dice it up. You can use any vegetables you have on hand. If you have eggplant, throw it in. Peppers, throw it in. Any vegetables that you have in your fridge, let's use them. So I'm gonna be making mine in the Instant Pot today, Oop. but you can use a pot on the stove, an Instant Pot, a slow cooker, whatever you have. The longer it cooks, the better. Um, the size of how big you cut the vegetables isn't going to matter because we're going to blend it in the end. So right now, I am just slicing my onion and again it doesn't matter how big how small it's all going to be blended in the end so we want to keep our fingers tucked if you watch any of my other recipe videos we want to practice Nice safety, knife safety. So I'm gonna pop this onion in the pot. We're making a mirepoix, which is carrots, celery, and onion sauteed as a base. So I'm putting a tablespoon of avocado oil, olive oil would, would work. And I'm gonna start, let me move this over. My Instant Pot, let's make it so you can see both. I'm gonna, uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna cut up some carrots first. And then I'll start the mirepoix. So we want to start with this base. It's gonna be extremely aromatic. It's going to get a nice flavor started for our sauce. Oops, and I need to get a cutting board that doesn't slide all over the place because that is not safe. So I have baby carrots. If you have shredded carrots, if you have whole carrots, Whatever you have will work. This is a great recipe for people who need to eat more vegetables but do not like vegetables, but like pasta. And who doesn't like pasta? All right, so I'm going to cut the rest of these carrots and I'll be right back. All right, I have my carrots in the pot. And now I have a head of celery and you can see it's pretty wilted. It's perfect for this, leaves and all. If you ever make a soup or a stew, I love cutting up the celery leaves and adding them in. They just give so much flavor. I'm gonna go wash these stalks now. I'll be right back. All right, here is our celery. If you have celery sticks, that works too. And I'm just dicing this up. Leaves and all. Let's pop this in our pot. And let's get sauteing. While that starts to saute, I'm going to prep the other vegetables we have. So I have two zucchini here, and I'm just going to chop off the ends on both sides. 
compost those. Then I'm going to slice them down the middle and down the middle again. Be very careful, watch your fingers. And then we're gonna cut. Uh, I'm gonna cut two at a time. Again, size doesn't matter. I'm gonna finish cutting this and I'll be right back. All right, I have the zucchini all cut up and I put it in this bowl while I wait for my vegetables in my pot to start sauteing. We want them to release their aromatics and their flavor. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to the pot. This is gonna help them sweat a little bit more. And I'm gonna keep prepping. So we have a bag of leftover spinach here. Easy prepping that, I'm just dumping it right in our bowl. Perfect. I have some frozen corn. And that goes right in our bowl as well. You'll notice this bag was half open. That's the beauty of it. Just use what vegetables you have on hand. Vegetables that are about to go bad. Vegetables that you don't know what else you're going to use them for. And then I have this bag of happy in broccoli. Florets. So I'm going to prep these. And put them in our bowl. Broccoli is very easy to prep for this. Small florets like that, I'm not even gonna bother cutting. But if you have bigger pieces like this, I'm gonna cut off the stem, we're not gonna use that. And then just cut. There you go. You can put two side by side. You're just gonna feed them through. That's perfect. So the carrots, celery, and onions have been cooking for a little. I'm gonna add some garlic. Now you can add fresh whole cloves of garlic or you can add minced prepared garlic either one measure with your heart we love garlic so i added about a tablespoon and a half and then we're just going to mix that in I'm gonna finish cutting up this broccoli. We're gonna let this pot cook a little bit and I'll be back. All right, my broccoli is all cut up. My mirepoix is doing its thing. So now I'm going to add my bowl of veggies into the pot. All the veggies are in my pot, I'm going to add my pasta sauce, this is pizza sauce, marinara, arabiata, whatever sauce you have, we're gonna add it in. I'm making very big batches so I can jar and I'm gonna share some with my family. So I'm gonna use two jars. I also have a lot of vegetables and two jars are needed. Then I'm going to add in some diced tomatoes. I'm 
Let's start with two cans of diced tomatoes and see how that looks. Let's give it a stir. actually looking pretty good if you have fresh tomatoes you can add them in now I have some more sauce left can you see at the bottom of this jar so I'm gonna add some water into the jar and then clean the jar that way and dump the water in here you don't need a lot of water I probably used a third of a cup of water total between both jars you're just gonna fill it with water and shake it Pour it in. There you go. Now I'm going to stir again. I'm going to let this cook down before I decide if I need to add more liquid because as the vegetables cook more liquid is going to be released into the sauce but I'm gonna add my seasonings now Oop. Mm -hmm. onion powder mushroom powder and if you have mushrooms you can add them in here as well a little bit of some red pepper flakes. We like it a little spicy. If you used an arabiata that's already spicy, you don't have to add red pepper flakes unless you like it very spicy. All right. Here is some black garlic. Some chopped onion, dried chopped onions. garlic powder, some oregano, and then I have this Italian style sofrito that I got from Trader Joe's, which has um, crispy onion, sun-dried tomatoes, sea salt, garlic, peppers, parsley, rosemary, and sage you have an Italian seasoning, that would also work. Then of course, pepper. And salt. I am also going to add some bouillon. In this I think I'm going to need some more liquids in this now that I'm stirring it let me get that all right I've got some vegetable bouillon I'm going to add that in just a little And we're gonna need some more water. All right, I'm going to add in more water for now, just a little. It's easier to add more as we need it than to have too much liquid and thicken it up, which is possible, so don't worry if you put too much liquid in here. Okay, so if you have a slow cooker, you're gonna cover this and cook it. I would say three to four hours on high, six to eight on low. If you're cooking it on the stove, you wanna bring it to a boil and let it simmer. If you're cooking it in the Instant Pot, we're gonna pop our lid on. And we're going to seal the lid 